Congressman Jason Crow was part of a top-level U.S. congressional delegation led by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that secretly visited Ukraine over the weekend. In a three-hour meeting in Kyiv late Saturday with the Ukrainian president, Pelosi and Crow voted, vowed that the U.S. would stand with Ukraine. Crow told reporters in Poland that the U.S. needs to do more to aid Ukraine. Denver Parks and Recreation says it will close parks where violence becomes a problem. Denverite's Kevin Beatty has more. Murders and assaults have risen across Denver since 2020. One way the city is responding is by closing parks where violence takes place. But a Denverite analysis of crime data shows that closing a park doesn't impact crime rates around it. That was the case at La Alma Lincoln Park, where 63-year-old Gary Ariano was killed last week. Denver closed it for two months in January after a spate of gunfire, but reported crimes didn't drop much in the neighborhood around it. The park is closed again indefinitely. Kevin Beatty, Denverite. The Manitou Springs Fire Department is offering free property assessments to residents as a way to reduce their risk of wildfire.